singing arc, symbol of atomic hydrogen arc welding, a versatile process that can be applied to almost any metal. It is especially useful in welding light gauge metal, special ferrous alloys, and most non-ferrous metals and alloys. Flux is required only for aluminum and some alloys. Filler metal of almost any composition can be deposited. Hence, the process is valuable for repairing molds and dies, for altering dies, and for correcting errors in machining. In other words, atomic hydrogen arc welding can be applied to almost any work requiring a precision weld. And speaking of precision, here's Joe McGee again. Now that Joe McGee's welded his watch back in one piece, let's examine this remarkable welding process and see what makes it tick. Atomic hydrogen arc welding makes use of two tungsten electrodes in a holder, which controls their position and directs the flow of hydrogen. Alternating current is used to form an electric arc between the electrodes. Note that the arc is independent of any work. The unique feature of this process is the use of a hydrogen flame to surround the arc. Hydrogen gas flows out through the nozzles of the electrode holder, around the electrodes, and the arc. The hydrogen flow cools the electrodes and prevents their rapid evaporation. The action of the arc changes the hydrogen into atomic form, hence the name atomic hydrogen. As the atomic hydrogen contacts the work, it changes back to its molecular form. A rapid transfer of heat is obtained. The gas flame shields the molten metal and reduces most oxides that may be on the surface. The weld is clean and smooth, with practically no slag or spatter. The atomic hydrogen welding equipment does two things. It supplies and controls electric power and the flow of hydrogen gas. Hydrogen is commonly supplied from a commercial cylinder. It is controlled at the source by a pressure regulator and is connected to the solenoid valve on the welding unit. The solenoid valve automatically starts and stops the flow of gas to the electrode holder. The gas is carried from the solenoid to the holder by a hose. The welding unit transforms and controls the electric power, which is transmitted to the electrode holder by a cable that parallels the gas hose. A portable push-button station provides remote control for starting and stopping both hydrogen and current. To adjust the electrode holder, clamps for the desired size of electrodes are attached to the holder. The tungsten electrodes are inserted and thumb screws tightened just enough to permit shifting the electrodes. They are then given the minimum operating extension in order to set the position of the electrode clamps. The amount of this extension depends on the size of the electrodes. The minimum extension here is one half inch, as we are using a one sixteenth inch electrode. With the trigger free, the clamps are moved until the ends of the electrodes touch. The clamps are then tightened to the holder. 
both electrodes are then extended to their maximum operating length. For the size electrode we are using, the maximum extension is 7 8 inch. A chart is furnished showing the extensions for each size electrode. The operator should always follow this guide. With the electrodes at the correct maximum extension, the turnbuckle is adjusted so that when the trigger is fully depressed, the tips are separated one quarter to three eighths of an inch. The trigger gives a means of striking the arc and controlling its size. Alignment of the arc is controlled by the lateral alignment of the electrode tips. When the tips are in line with the holder, the arc will also be in line. If the tips are offset slightly, the arc will move out of line with the holder. Note that very little offset is required to turn the arc fan at a right angle to the holder. This offset is used to make the arc fan line up with the seam when required. A preliminary hydrogen adjustment is made by setting the needle valve on the solenoid about one and three quarters turns open. The pressure regulator is set at 10 pounds with no gas flowing. To strike the arc, the trigger on the holder is fully depressed and the start button held down. The trigger is released until the electrodes touch, then immediately depressed to start the arc and ignite the hydrogen. If the electrodes are allowed to weld together, power must be shut off before the electrodes are pried apart. If the electrodes are offset so that they do not touch, the arc must be started with the aid of charred wood. The arc is maintained with the electrode tips held about 1 16th inch apart. The arc may be extinguished with the stop button or by depressing the trigger. Either method shuts off hydrogen automatically. The final adjustment of the hydrogen is made by turning the pressure regulator valve. The hydrogen flow is reduced until the singing sound stops. Then immediately increased to restore the singing sound and the well-defined shape of the arc. This is the correct hydrogen adjustment. The equipment is now completely adjusted and ready for operation. An arc that is independent of the work. Easy control over the application of heat. Rapid melting. A stable pool. A smooth weld free from slag and spatter. This is atomic hydrogen arc welding.